ProPublica reports that with millions of homeowners still struggling to stay in their homes, the Obama administration's $75 billion foreclosure prevention program has been weakened, perhaps fatally, by lax oversight and a posture of cooperation rather than enforcement with the nation's biggest banks. Those banks, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase and Citibank, service the majority of mortgages. Despite a dismal showing for the program, rising complaints from homeowners and repeated threats from officials, the government has levied no penalties against even the most error-prone banks and mortgage servicers. In fact, despite issuing public warnings for more than a year about imposing penalties, the Treasury Department told ProPublica this past week they don't even have the power to punish servicers for wrongfully denying help to homeowners. Instead of toughening the program, Treasury has actually loosened it in the face of industry lobbying. The new report from the Special Inspector General for the TARP says, quote, at some point, Treasury needs to ask itself what value there is in a program under which not only participation but also compliance with the rules is voluntary. Treasury needs to recognize the failings of the program and be willing to risk offending servicers. And if getting tough means risking servicer flight, so be it. The results could hardly be much worse. The Obama administration launched the program nearly two years ago in early 2009 promising it would help 3 million to 4 million troubled American borrowers rework the terms of their mortgages. Amid widespread reports that servicers have been wrongly rejecting homeowners, losing paperwork and otherwise breaking the program's rules, it appears the program will fall far short. The Congressional Oversight Panel now estimates fewer than 800,000 homeowners will ultimately get lasting mortgage modifications.